Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is to help you set up flapperons on your Jumper T16 using OpenTX and using Companion on your computer. Now there is a proviso, you will need to have a servo for each aileron so that you can do this. Right, let's switch over to the radio and I will show you how we do this. Let's take a look at the flap settings on my Jumper T16. Okay, we're going to hit the model button and we're going to go over page to the flight modes. Now in there I've set up armed, disarmed, flight, which will be no flaps, and then flaps 15 degrees and flaps 30 degrees. And then allocated those to switches and this flaps is... Flaps 1, 5 degrees, flaps 3, 0 degrees. And as you can hear I've set up sounds for those. Right, we hit the page button. The inputs will be standard. Mine here have dual rates in there but yours may not but don't worry about that just move on to the mixes now in the mixes you need to add two lines to each aileron channel because to be able to do flapperons each aileron must have its own servo so let's just have a look at the settings so you can see I've named the mix flap its source is aileron the weight is zero and the offset is related to a global variable and in this case the global variable has to be minus now this will depend on the way your servos are orientated in the model. If they're a certain way, they may have to be plus, and if they're a certain way, they may have to be minus. You would have to check that. Once you set up, you would then actuate your uh, controls and then just see that they are working in the, in the correct way. If they're not, just reverse them here. Okay, the diff has to be zero, and then it's allocated to a switch, which is this one here. As you can see now, that flap is actuated. Okay, on the next line is where the second flap rate is, is actuated. So this is now minus GV2. Uh, weight is zero, diff is zero, and then connected to the switch will be the switch fully um, back and not forward. Okay, forward is the, is the flaps off. Then you go down to the second channel of the aileron so this is for the second wing and we set up in the same way we've got mix name flaps the weight is zero the offset is gv1 and this time it's a positive and diff zero and then allocated to the center position of that switch and then the second flap is g is the weight is zero the offset is gv2 this time and diff zero and then selected to the switch fully uh, back okay then let's go through we went in, nothing in there then we go to the global variables now this is a simple one to set up because global variable one is 15 and that goes in let me just show you that's in uh, flight mode zero and then each of these flight modes copies that across. So you could change this, but you don't need to because we want it in any flight mode, we want it to be that figure that's selected. And then on the second row, we've put the second uh, flap value. So we could put a third one if we want to do or whatever, but we, uh, we've only got two. So if we use the flight modes, so you can see, so you can see when we're disarmed, we're on flight mode one and then flight mode two because we start from zero. Disarmed. So disarmed. And then that is it. In the, in the special functions, I set up sounds for it. So you could do the same. So that is it. That is how you set up the flaps in your Jumper T16. Now let's just go up here. Now, if you see are ailerons now just as i said these these are both going the same way the channels but that's because of the orientation of the servos within my radio but you can see we've got uh, ailerons actuating and then we've got flaps and then flaps actuating and there we go okay there we go that's how we do it on the radio let's switch over to companion and i will show you in companion and in fact if you get used to companion it's a lot quicker to set up models within the companion program let's go take a look at the flapper on settings in our OpenTX companion program i'm going to open up 
my back up. Now we're going to open this model. Okay, everything's standard on this setup. We're going to go to flight modes. Now in the flight modes, you can see we've got the armed, disarmed, then normal flight, and then the 15 degrees flaps and 30 degree flaps. And you can see in the flight mode zero window, you can see the values. And there they are, 15 and 30. Now if we go into, we want to copy those uh, global variables across to each mode and so in the second mode which is disarmed you can see it says flight mode zero value for that one so if we go back to flight mode zero that is 15 and you can see the value there so if we go right across to flight mode seven you will still see the value but you could change the value from here to a different figure by saying own value but we don't need to do that for this example so we just have to have the global variable 1 and global variable 2 at 15 and 30. If we then go to the inputs, they will stay the same. You may not have expose and dual rate set up. You may just have the four channels with one line for each. Okay, we go to the mixes. Now, in the mixes is where we have to add in two lines. And here is line 1. I've named it flap. The source is aileron, the weight has to be zero, the offset we have to choose GV, and this in this case for this setup of this model it's minus GV1. The diff is zero and then we, we select our switch and this is the mid position so that gives us the first uh, flap which is 15 degrees. Okay, Then we go into line two and this is where we're going to set up, we say flap again and we've got the source is aileron, weight zero, Offset is minus GV2, diff zero, and the switch is in the back position. Okay, then we go to our second channel because we have two servos, one for each wing. We add two lines, and in this one, we're gonna put flaps. We say aileron is the source, the weight is zero. This time we are GV1 plus figure, and then we've got the mid position of our switch whichever you select and we go to our final line on this aileron where we say flaps the source is aileron the weight is zero and the offset is gv2 and then we go down to the switch and this is in the back position towards us okay we go to the outputs there's nothing in there we don't need to do anything to here but in special functions we can put the sounds. You see I've made the sounds and I'll, I'll leave a link to a video in the description below so that you can, if you want to make sounds, you'll be able to. Let's simulate the radio. Disarm motors. Elevator dual rate off. Aileron dual rate off. Now if we click the model button once and then hold the model button, we'll come up with our channel monitors. So we can check that our ailerons are working. There we go. Okie dokie. Then we go to our switch. Now there is no flap at the moment. We go to the second flaps setting. One, five degrees. You can see we've got 15 degrees of flaps. Flaps three zero degrees. And there we go. And then we can turn them off. Flaps one five degrees. So that's how you set it up in, in companion. And in fact, it is a lot quicker to do it in companion. Um, than going through all the buttons but some people may not like to use companion or may not have a computer so it's, it's quite cool that you can do it in both ways thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends and if you have any comments please leave them in the comment section below because I would love to hear from you thanks for watching happy flying bye for now please stay safe out there bye